Hello everyone. Recently uh, there's been, well here in Australia anyway, uh, for those who follow um, kind of current events and, and scepticism and public issues and stuff like that, there's been a crusade to stop Mel Dory, who is the um, leader of the Australian Vaccination Network. Now don't be fooled by that name because she actually advocates for parents not to vaccinate their children, uh, which of course, which I've talked about before with regards to Jenny McCarthy, is criminal and um, I think should have much more dire consequences than just from the community because that will not make up for the amount of deaths that will eventually prevail from the decreased herd immunity due to less children getting less immunizations. But I've talked about this before, this is not my issue. My issue is the freedom of speech and whether it should be taken away if um, individuals are in danger because of it. Now, Meryl Dory was scheduled to speak at a local music festival called the Woodford Music Festival. Um, that's held here in Queensland, I'm pretty sure. Um, and there was uproar because it's a council organised event, so it's funded by the government, um, which to me sounds like it should ha have some responsibility for its people's health. But apparently not because they gave the stage to this crazy woman who was telling everyone not to vaccinate their kids because it's full of mercury and it causes autism and all those old arguments that everyone here knows have been discounted and chucked away in the bin so many times but people still continue to believe in it. The issue was though whether she was allowed to have her time on the stage and to give her little speech. Now I'm all for freedom of speech. The Westboro Baptist Church members picket with their disgusting signs and everything like that, but they deserve the freedom to say that because that is their beliefs. They are not really hurting anyone in the sense that no one takes them seriously. I, I I would be very hard pressed to find anyone who takes the West Barrow Baptist Church seriously. However, there are those who are not educated enough or not up to date on the latest scientific breakthroughs, uh, etc, etc, that may take on board Meryl Dory's non-vaccination message. And that can have dire and horrible consequences for the children and the adults. Old people can get these diseases as well. We're not just immunising against children. We're immunising against everyone and creating herd immunity. So where is the line with regards to freedom of speech? Where is the line with regards to letting someone say what they want to say, even though it might cause harm to others? After much uproar, campaigning, petitioning, uh, writing to the council and writing to health ministers, um, Dory wasn't removed, she was put on a panel with um, the scientists and uh, doctors and stuff like that to hash out the issue. So at least she still got to say what she wanted to say, which is her right, um, but she had people to discount her crazy theories and thoughts with real science and real information from the medical community. Um, it was quite good though that um, someone funded a giant banner to, to fly across the sky, um, pulled by an aeroplane while she was doing her speech saying stop the AVN. So I think that got a giggle and kind of a fist pump from everyone who had been working tirelessly to um, not have her speak. Uh, but yeah, it, I have mixed feelings because I, I do think that everyone has the right to be heard and to say what they want to say regardless of um, their point of view, but where does it have to stop with regards to causing harm to others or potential harm to others, especially children who are innocent in all of this and have no say in whether they um, get vaccinated or not. Uh, just a quick note, if you would like to know more about the Stop the Avian um, movement. I've added some links down in the description along with the um, 
the website that Meryl Dory runs just so you can see how ridiculously dangerous it is for her to be spooking these um, unfounded claims. Now I know it is an Australian website and a lot of you are from the US but if we can get so, too many, so many people to complain and register her as a nuisance in society um, then I think every bit counts. Nothing's going to be done unless people group together and stop these lies from being spread and stop children from actually dying from diseases that were thought to have been um, basically eradicated before this whole new uh, vaccination fear came about. So um, yeah, check out the, um, the links in the description and uh, tell me what you think. Do you think that everyone deserves freedom of speech regardless of the message that they're trying to get across? Or do you think there should be some limitations as to what people can say in a public sphere? So thanks for listening, guys, and um, check out the links below. Thanks.